learn knitting now. Today is Whip Wednesday where I show you a work in progress that I have on the needles and we talk about it. Um, today I'm, I have in a flurry sweater. I have been working on this a ton recently because it has been so fun but then I finish all the color work and now we get into the part where I call the long slog of boringness. <laughs> totally made that up. But I have to the body, it's all the same color. It's the boring bit, but necessary bit. <laughs> and this is why a lot of my friends tell me, a lot of my knitting friends tell me, that they like to do bottom up sweaters when they're doing color work on a yoke because the fun part is at the end and they have that to look forward to. And while I understand that in theory, um, I don't like having sleeves and the body and moving that around as you're trying to knit the top of the sweater is just kind of fiddly and um, difficult. And I totally understand that's a first world problem, but it's a problem I try, I avoid just because I can. But then I have the problem of having all the fun part over with and knitting the boring, boring part. But it's necessary. I'm so excited though. Look how fun. It is so fun. It's going to be thick and warm and, and lovely. It's current. It's July as I'm filming this and it's really hot outside. And so, um, just been chilling it out in the AC <laughs> with this, this thing on my lap. Uh, cause it's, it is, it is warm. Um, so the pattern in a flurry sweater by Jill Zielinski and it's it's just been lovely well written i love the charts the charts um so she knitted hers in like mostly a cream if i'm remembering correctly this part was cream and then there was some like blue and yellow situation going on up here and um her charts had that color combination but genius she included a blank chart so it had the different parts of the chart were like outlined in a thicker uh, line so you could still see the chart but then you can take your own colored pencils and color it in let me see if I, i've got it here so i could color it in with uh, markers colored pencils whatever it was to match what i'm doing and that's something that's difficult or something that's kind of can be kind of hard when you're when you're working with a a color work chart that the colors in the chart match what the the designer did which makes sense I mean obviously they would do that but then I'm trying in my head to do the conversion into whatever colors I'm doing and and that can be some some mental gymnastics um, that that I haven't done perfectly and ended up with design flaw does or what did they call it uh uh like happy coincidences or whatever um when you're when you're doing your your thing so another fun th little factoid about this particular sweater it calls for i think it's size six uh needles i like the fabric i got better with size seven needles i wanted this to be a little bit slouchy and pretty comfy and with the six needles the fabric that i got when i swatched you swatching but necessary uh was more more dense and stiff than i wanted and so i went to seven needles and it sized seven needles and i liked it a lot better but what that did was it made um fewer stitches per inch than the the gauge called for and because I like to live on the edge and I just kind of make things up as I go and usually it works out pretty well uh, I decided I'm just going to go ahead and knit the instructions for a smaller size knowing that it's going to turn out bigger because I'm using a bigger gauge and so far so good another good thing about about doing top-down sweaters as you can try them on as you go. So I got all the way down here, um, just a little bit underneath the color work where the sleeves split. And I put them on, I put all the stitches on two longer needles so that I could put it on and it fit pretty well. It was a little bit snugger than I would like, but I also know that after I wash this and dry it, it's gonna relax quite a bit and it's gonna be just fine. So, 
little bit of my design process in my brain, <laughs> uh, how, how this is coming out to be. And so far, I'm just really, really happy with it.